If you're looking for a quick road trip from Sacramento, look no further than Cordova. It is located in the Santa Clara Valley. It's approximately 30 miles south of San Jose. It is a luxury resort renowned for its upscale amenities, world-class golf course, and serene surroundings. And you can bring your little dog if you have one because they're welcome too. What is so beautiful about this place is one of the best accommodations I have ever seen. It has spacious guest rooms, suites, and villas. Each accommodation is elegantly appointed with upscale furnishing and modern amenities like this amazing bathtub hello 100 baths per day yes please and thank you it has a spa and wellness center that will sure offer you a beautiful hot stone massage or if you needed a deep tissue massage you can unwind and pamper yourself in a tranquil setting surrounded by nature you can also experience the exciting dining experience that the new chef at Cordova brings Chef Nicola Cavicchini really does put dreams on a plate. We have about 20 more minutes left on our drive. We just arrived and had the best massage ever. I had a deep tissue massage with hot stones and now I'm going to be getting ready for dinner. I have to put my face back together because I was face down for an hour uh, getting my massage and I kind of have to put a little bit of effort into my hair because of the massage. It got a little ruined so we gotta fix her and get to dinner. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. going to dinner and we are so excited because we are hungry. Hi. Hi, sir. Dinner time. You ready? It's such a pretty view here. We're gonna go on a walk. When we come back, we're gonna get room service for breakfast. We had a lovely dinner yesterday. I'll tell you all about it. And then I have to interview the chef at 2.45 p.m. today. So I'm really excited for today. It's gonna be a great day. Hi, good morning. Good morning. We're all going together. Let's show mom. We're gonna come this way. Let's show her. Yeah, show me your walk. Oh yeah, show me. <clears throat> How'd you sleep? Good morning. Good morning. Slept morning. great. How about you? Good. Great, actually. We had a big bed and I was like, oh, this is what it feels like to have room in the bed. Usually Doug says that I come over to his side, but I think he might be thinking things. You know, he's not thinking straight when he's asleep. It's an amazing, beautiful, serene place. I don't know if you all saw them, but there were deer that just came out. It was so pretty. And last night's dinner, so good, delicious. right? Yeah. We had um, everything. Was delicious. We had, we had yeah. New York steak. Yeah. With appetizer with We had tuna, the tuna tartare. Tar. That was by far my favorite. It was so good. It had a little chicharron, and he made it. The chef made it with the flour instead of actual chicharron it was so stinking good and then i had the She's pork so belly fresh. yeah i had pork belly and it had this thing of uh, uh what was it also, like, brussels can sprout candied br it had candied brussels sprouts it was so delicious oh my gosh i've never had a better brussels sprout I love how stock they are on so many things. It's just a really nice place because you go somewhere and you're like, oh, I forgot my sunscreen. There it 
it is. They have a little refrigerator by the course, by the golf course, and there's apples, there's string cheese, there's hard boiled eggs, there's pretzels. Everything uh, you would want if you're golfing and you're hungry and you need a little snack. I am here with Chef Nicola Cavicchini, and we are about to interview him and get a little peek inside of who he is and why he is the head chef at Cordoba. I am so excited to be with Chef right now because he is about to show us how to make a beautiful risotto. But before you do, I want to dive into just a little bit of a personal aspect of who you are and why cooking is important to you. Um, my, My career started uh, 12, 12 years, years ago uh, when I decided, decided to move to Australia. Australia. That, that was my first experience as a cook. Uh, it's eight years that I'm working in uh, national hospitality. I work in Maui and then Southern California and now here at Cordova. Cooking for me is became a passion uh, and it's actually for me is an expression of who am I. Mm -hmm. Is uh, put uh, dreams on a plate to make memorable experience to a guest. Like to showcase only challenge myself yes. to, to do something uh, better every time and memorable. I love that you just said dreams on a plate because I believe in dreams, I believe in people going after their dreams and it's so important to have a dream that pushes you to have hope, right? Absolutely, is for me is uh, what is really important is the commitment <laughs> and uh, see on the long run what you want to be, a lot of effort, hard work, and definitely will pay off. Yes. Absolutely. Well, it has paid off. You are talking about dreams on a plate, and I just had a few items of your menu, and they have been so delicious. One of my favorite were the um, chicharrones yes. that you made with the, what was it? The tuna tartar. Okay, there's a tuna tartar here that it, it's, it's worth the drive just to come and drive the three hours from Sacramento to here to try that tartar. It was delicious. What inspires you? Uh, what inspired me is actually is everything that's around me. You know, sometimes I feel inspired by just walking to the farmer's market, sometimes having a start with the chef, sometimes watching art. You know, art is actually inspired me to presentation, you know, how to play something, how to, to create something again. Dream on a plate, you know, <laughs> always uh, come so back to cool. that. That is so cool. Okay, would you tell us, what would you tell your five-year-old self? Having known everything that you've known, having been through everything you've been through, how would you encourage Nicola at five? Uh, hard work, dedication, and uh, if you see yourself in a position in the future, just go for it with 100% of your energy, 100% of your commitment. 100% of your dedication, mm -hmm. and definitely, as I mentioned, it will pay off. That is beautiful. I always ask that question because I know for me, there were seasons in my life when things, you know, seemed hard or a dream seemed so far away that it felt like I could never get there. And then when you meet people that have accomplished things that are wonderful and amazing, I always love to 
you know, peek inside their brain and say, hey, what got you through from here to here? And I really appreciate you telling a bit of your story because it does help other people to dream big. If you want to be a chef, it's doable, it's possible. You're saying a lot, the word commitment. What does that word mean to you and how has that shaped? Is my favorite word I will always use when I'm at you cooks that they want to follow this career. Commitment is uh, something that uh, is going to make it happen and is going to create your dream. It is literally put your soul, your energy, and everything you believe in something. Yes. And commitment is showing up every day and try to give 100% every day and never be uh, satisfied 100% of yourself. Always try to reach something more. Uh, this is something that all my mentors, you know, they uh, they told me, and I believe it 100%. Yes, I love that. I am trying to get better at my consistency. So commitment and consistency go hand in hand. And like you're saying, it's you know you have a dream, but it doesn't just happen. You have to come to work and be committed. And maybe not always will you feel like you're giving 100%. But we always are, you know, even if one day you're not as good as, you know, I know for me, some days are harder than others, <laughs> but just showing up matters, yes, right? absolutely. showing up and showing up, showing up matters. Thank you so much for sharing that wisdom with us, because I always love to learn from people, especially if you've had mentors. I love mentors. I think everybody needs a mentor yes, absolutely. <laughs> because then you could be a mentor to someone else. Right? Absolutely. What is your favorite part of working for Cordoba? When I arrived to Cordoba, I was, this is very little story, uh, I came in the last big storm of the, the, the last year, it was April, and I drove up, and I see these uh, beautiful hills, and beautiful landscape in the middle of the country land, and I got right away kind of like fell in love of the beautiful nature also because I'm living, coming from north of Italy, in the middle of the country land, mm-hmm. and so for me this is like remind me home. Oh yes, it's so beautiful after, green. After many years in different landscape, I've been in Hawaii, Southern mm-hmm. California, and now I'm in a landscape that actually reminds me to be home. Wow. So that's a feel of track. Further than when I met Cordeval, uh, all the team of Cordeval, I felt home is the real uh, energy, the positive vibes that has this place, uh, the value that Cordeval has as a company, and uh, it just got me right away. That's awesome. That's great. And I can feel that value as I'm here as a guest and I'm experiencing all of the beauty that, like you said, the beautiful landscape here is just gorgeous. And I'm sure if it does remind you of home, it feels like home, right? And the people are so kind here. Thank you for sharing that because that is such a, just, it's a good reminder that things that help us feel like home are things that are going to ground us and make us feel like we can do things because it's important to have a community of people that are surrounding you that are for you, right? Absolutely. Yes, and you need to have a team that is thriving, which I think this team here is thriving very big because everywhere I turn, everyone's smiling, they're so kind, they're like, here, eat this, eat that, and I'm like, what? This is amazing. So I've had such a wonderful time so far. I'm excited to watch you make some risotto. We're going to go and see how to make some really yummy food. Okay. All right, Chef, what are we making today? Uh, today we're going to do a uh, radicchio tardivo risotto. I'm going to add some uh, vegetable stock. So risotto vegetable stock, we add a little bit of radicchio tardivo uh, ragu. A bit of salt. A butter. We're going to use parmigiano reggiano, very, uh, very light. Very fluffy, so the result is plated. So add some pear that has been uh, uh, like baked. Okay. So add some sweetness to the risotto. Every dish is supposed to be balanced. Salty, sweetness, acidity. Any so, fat? Any fat? No. Yes, there is a lot of fat in there. We have the cheese, we have oh, the butter, okay. so everything we have. It. So salty, sweet, and fat. You heard it here first. Is ready. Yay! I love the crunchy aspect of the pear. That is so good. Oh my gosh, you guys, thumbs up. Thank you so much for your wonderful risotto. And-
more than anything, thank you for your perseverance and your courage and what you're giving us. It's just this little filled hope of things on a plate that are going to give us a really wonderful time with your husband, time with your daughters, time um, spent with the people that you love eating at a table. I don't know anything better to gather people than to have really good food to eat. So thank you for what you've done. You're awesome. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you for stopping by. Bye, guys. Bye. We finished and wrapped up the interview with the chef and then came back to the hotel room to get ready for our dinner. I'm going to spruce up my makeup to make it be dinner appropriate. I got back in my outfit that I had with the interview with the chef. This has been one of the most beautiful weekends that Doug and I have ever had. It's been so peaceful, serene, and just we were saying how quiet and tranquil it is here. It is just a beautiful landscape of just green. And I, I mean, I don't love to golf, but I do love seeing the golfers out there. It's just been so sweet. Just being able to walk around and just seeing the beautiful green acreage and I don't know, is that, how you, is that what you call it? Acreage? Anywho, um, I am so excited because when I come back tonight, I have got myself. I got bath bombs to come back to after our dinner. We're going to come back and get into pajamas. Uh, we're excited because they have friends. Uh, on the TV so I think we're gonna come back after our dinner hopefully God willing take a nice old bath get everything off of my face uh, tomorrow we have a hike and we have checkout at 11 so I'm sad to be checking out tomorrow but I'm so grateful that we were able to be in Cordoba it was a very chilled weekend that we really needed I had some really nice time with God and just reading God's Word while Doug went on a run he ran that huge trail um, and it's a very big like hike, I think, but he ran it. So he came back like, <laughs> like, oh, why are you breathing so hard? <laughs> um, anywho, all right, my arms are so tired and they hurt so. Hey, you got a date for dinner? Yeah. You have a date? Yeah, oh, four-legged no. date. No. I like your outfit. Banana Republic, thank you. Hello. Ready for dinner. That was really yummy. I was surprised I liked that. I didn't think I was gonna like it because it's, I don't know. Um, I've never tried caviar before. I've been scared to, but it actually is really delicious. It was fresh, delightful, and just a little bit spicy and salty. Of course, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. It's spicy. So good. Oh, wow. Distribute our butter and truffle oil. Oh, wow. That's so fancy. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, it's fun, too. <laughs> so good. So good that wants to drink it. Butter. The butter. <laughs> Sunday morning and I'm so excited to be in the gym at Cordoval because they have a great weight room oh my gosh they have weights they have machines they have 
all kinds of really good stuff in their fitness room. I'm really impressed. So I'm gonna do a little training session. I just did a little bit of a run to warm up as I came here from my room. The rooms are nice because they're kind of up and tucked away. And then you get to come down to the center clubhouse area where they have all the restaurants and the fitness room. And it's just really nice space to come and do your workout if you are wanting to do something indoors and with weights or with machines. Sunday, 12 p.m. We have to go check out of this beautiful, gorgeous room. But we just want to say thank you so much to the Cordoval team. They have been incredibly kind and helpful and just extraordinary at their jobs. Everyone that works here is so kind and so giving and we have enjoyed our time. Thank you so much for treating us to a stay here. We really, really, really genuinely loved our time and we're so grateful. We would hope to be back anytime you want us back. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.